हेलो वेलकम टू दस वो बायोलॉजी ऑनलाइन क्लासेस टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस लास्ट फाइव ईयर क्वेश्चन और प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द चैप्टर एट एंड टेन द सेल एंड सेल डिवीजन ओके चलिए चालू करते हैं चैप्टर एट एंड टेन द सेल एंड सेल साइकिल विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेजेज ऑफ मीज इन वॉल्स डिवीजन ऑफ सेंट्रोमिया दिस इज अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम योर नीट क्वेश्चन पेपर टू Which of the following stages of meiosis involved? Division of centromere. Division of centromere occurs during meiosis, meiosis two and anaphase two. So you should go with the option number D, anaphase two, meiosis two. Correct option. Option number D. Meiosis is completed into two separate divisions, meiosis one and meiosis two. During meiosis one, homologous chromosome gets separated, and in the meiosis two, centromere is split during meiosis two. At the anaphase two stage, this stage begins with the simultaneously splitting of centromere of each chromosome. It is written over page number one six nine of NCERT volume one. So you should go with option number D. Another question. This is also from NEET two thousand twenty one question paper. Says that question reads that match the following column one and column two. Christy, Sisterni, Centromere, Thylakoid, Wata, Christy, Christy are the In foldings, so हाँ जी, sister ni, sister ni that are the crispy that are the in folding in mitochondria. So A goes with two, sister ni, sister ni are the disc shape structures disc shape second golgi body so b goes with three centromere centromere are the primary constriction in centromere c goes with four and thylakoid thylakoids are flat membranous sac like structures present in the stroma of chloroplast and stacks of thylakoid produces grana so d goes with first okay a to b3 c4 d1 This is the correct choice. So this is the question from me, 2021. Sis Christy, page number described over the page number 135. Sis Tani, that are described over page number 133. Thyla quite that are described over page number 136. Okay, move to the next slide, please. When the centrum is situated in the middle of two equal arms of chromosome, the chromosome is referred as According to the position of centromere in chromosome, chromosomes are classified into four categories. This is the diagram of metacentric chromosome. When centromere is situated in the middle, it produces two equal arms, and this type of chromosome is called as metacentric chromosome. When it is situated slightly away from middle, either towards left or right, it produces one short and one longer arm, shorter arm and longer arm. This type of chromosome is called as submetacentric. When centromere is situated at one end, then it produces telocentric and acrocentric, almost at the one end, near to the one end. Then the chromosome is called as acrocentric. So when centromere is situated in the middle, this type of chromosome called as metacentric. Option number A is the right choice. You should go with it. Based on the position of centromere, as I described earlier, it is mentioned over page number. 139 so these all questions still now what we have discussed these all questions are from directly from your ncert so ncert ko bahut dhyan se pad lijiye aapko ncert se hi question aapke paper aaye okay move to the next need 2021 s phase g2 phase <coughs> coincident phase g1 phase s phase s phase characterized by replication of dna This phase is also called as synthesis phase. So S phase A goes with DNA replication. Four B G2 phase. G2 phase characterized by proteins are mainly synthesized. So B goes with first coincident stage. C C characterized by interval between mitosis and initiation of cell division. Initiation of DNA replication. This is the M phase. And at the end of M phase, parental cell get divided into two, followed by interphase G1 S and G2, G1 S and G2. 
as well as characterized by synthesis of uh, RN, the synthesis of DNA that is the DNA replication G2 phase mostly proteins are synthesized and G1 phase G1 phase characterized by interval between mitosis and DNA replication quincent stage quincent stage is inactive phase so C quincent stage that is the inactive stage 2 and D D goes with 1 4 1 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 is the right choice you should go with option number C 4 1 2 3 ok move to the next slide this is mentioned over page number 163 now we entered into the NEED 2020 question paper identify the correct statement with regard to G1 phase of interface G1 phase in G1 phase cell is metabolically active but does not replicate its DNA option number B is the right choice G1 S G2 this is the interface and after that M phase M phase divided into karyokinesis and cytokinesis karyokinesis further divided into prophase metaphase anaphase telophase and this is cytokinesis at the end of which this parental cell get divided into two now these cells daughter cells enter into G1 and it may exit from G1 and enters into G0 or it may completed its cell division that is the G1 S and G2 after that M phase so this is the identify the correct statement with regard to G1 phase that is the cell is metabolically active grows but does not replicate its DNA you should go with option number B ok this is mentioned over NCRT page number 163 of volume 1 chapter 10 some dividing cell exit the cell cycle and enter vegetative inactive stage this is called quincent stage this process occurs during this process occurs during G1 phase as I told you earlier this is the G1 S and G2 interface then M phase and G1 phase from G1 phase cell may exit the cell division and enter into the vegetative inactive stage that is called as G0 for quincent stage <coughs> mention over NCRT page number 164 which of the following statement about inclusion bodies is incorrect they are involved in, in, in ingestion of food particles this is the wrong statement they lie freely in the cytoplasm correct they represent the food material in cytoplasm in prokaryotic cell this is also correct they are not membrane bound they are not bound by any membrane yes this is also the these three statements are correct thus not a correct option to choose because we have to choose the false statement these are involved in ingestion of food, of food particles this is the false so incorrect so you should go with option number A mentioned in NCRT over page number 129 what which is important site of formation of glycoprotein and glycolipid in eukaryotic cell so clearly mentioned in your NCRT that Golgi bodies are the important site of formation of glycoprotein and glycolipid in eukaryotic cell Golgi body you should go with Golgi body this is a question from NEET 2020 mentioned over page number 134 Dissolution of synaptonemal complex occur during dissolution of synaptonemal complex occur during diplotin. The diplotin stages begin with the diplotin stage begins with the dissolution of synaptonemal complex. So option number B is the right choice. The dissolution of synaptonemal complex takes place in diplotin stage of meiosis. The beginning of diplotin recognized by dissolution of synaptonemal complex and the tendency of recombined homologous chromosome of the bivalent to separate from each other mentioned in page or NCRT over the page number 168. So you should go with diplotin stage. Select the correct option zygotin. Zygotin is characterized by synapsis, that is the pairing of homologous chromosome. Packetin, packetin is characterized by crossing over, that is the exchange of genetic material between non sister chromatid of homologous chromosome. This is the one duplicated chromosome, duplicated chromosome. This is the one chromatid, another chromatid. These are the sister chromatid. This, it sits, it is the homologous chromosome of this chromosome. These are also this chromatid and this chromatid is also sister chromatid of each other. But this chromatid and this chromatid 
can be regarded as non sister chromatid of homologous chromosome and exchange of genetic material occurs between non sister chromatid of homologous chromosome this is that is known as crossing over and crossing over provides variation so packetin stage is characterized by crossing over diplotin and diakinesis these two are also diakinesis diakinesis terminalization and diplotin kies meta so you should go with diakinesis diakinesis with the separation of homologous chromosome terminalization and the kies meta occurs during diplotin the fourth stage of prophase of meiosis during which the paired chromosome begin to separate into two chromatids diakinesis the fifth and last stage of prophase following diplotin and the separation of homologous chromosome completed so a goes with 4 b 3 c 2 d 1 c 2 d 1 diakinesis that is the terminalization and diplotin that is the kinetic formation <coughs> okay a 4 b 3 c 2 and d one match the following with respect to meiosis select the correct option ye hum log pehle hi kar chuke hain dobara question aa gaya cell in g0 phase exit the cell cycle it is clearly mentioned in your ncert this is the question from neat 2019 cell in g0 phase exit the cell cycle cells in g0 phase are said to exit the cell cycle these are at these are correct quincent stage and do not proliferate further some cells in the adult animals these lines are from your ncert some cells in the adult animals do not appear to exhibit division and many other cells divide only occasionally these cells do not divide further and get exit from the even phase to enter an inactive stage that is called quincent stage this is the phase of the cell cycle mentioned over ncert page number 164 crossing over take place between as i told you earlier between the non sister chromatid of homologous chromosome okay mentioned in the page over the page number 168 many ribosomes may get associated these ribosomes which get associated with single rna or with a single rna to form polysome or polyribosome so answer is polysome and produces multiple copy of same polypeptide so this is mentioned in your ncert so go with polysomes Which of the following is true for nucleolus? It takes part in spindle formation. No, larger nuclei present at dividing cell. It is the site for active ribosomal RNA synthesis. This is the correct choice to make. You should go with it. Need 2018 में क्वेश्चन आया है. Page number 138. आप कैन सी आरटी में मेंशन है. It is the site for active ribosomal RNA synthesis. RNA synthesis. Nucleolus discovered by Fontana. <coughs> A Golgi complex participate in Golgi complex participate in formation of secretory vesicles. You should go with option number D. Golgi complex principally perform the function of packaging material to be delivered either to the intracellular target or secreted outside the cell. <coughs> Materials to be packed in the form of vesicles from the endoplasmic reticulum fuses with the cis phase of Golgi apparatus and move towards the trans phase. Okay. So these are these are the line from your NCERT page number 134. So option number option number D is the correct choice. Formation of secretory vesicles. Which of the following options gives the correct sequence of events? Correct sequence of events that is the condensation of genetic material. Chromosome get formed, then nuclear membrane get disturbed, then these chromosomes get scattered in the cytoplasm. After that, they get arranged at the equator plate. After that, centromere division and segregation of two. segregation of these chromatids towards the opposite pole. They get segregated, and after that, telophase. So, option number C is the right choice. You should go with the option number C. Crossing over mitosis में नहीं होती. Crossing over mitosis में नहीं होती. वो meiosis में होती. So, mitosis. This is the option C is the correct choice. You should go with it. Okay. Now. Need 2017 question. Which of the following cell organelles responsible for extracting energy from carbohydrate to form ATP? So, mitochondria is the site of cellular respiration, and mitochondria is known as powerhouse of the cell. So, mitochondria, you should go with mitochondria formation of ATP. Important topic from your upcoming need till now. We have discussed the question paper that appeared in Need 2020. 
वन ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन एटीन सेवेंटी तो आपने इसमें सब में देखा ये जितने भी क्वेश्चन है डायरेक्ट लाइन है फ्रॉम योर एन सी आर टी आप एन सी आर टी को अच्छे से पढ़ लीजिए चैप्टर को पूरे ग्रो थ्रू करिए कोई भी चीज़ छोड़नी नहीं है मैं अपनी प्रिडिक्शन आपको दे रहा हूँ मेरी जो गट फीलिंग है मेरा जो टीचिंग एक्सपीरियंस है उस हिसाब से मैं एस्ट्रोलॉजर नहीं हूँ ना टेरो कार्ड रीडर हूँ लेकिन फ्लैजिला को इस बार टारगेट करिए इसके फोर एजोनीम को टारगेट करिए नाइन प्लस टू अरेंजमेंट को टारगेट करिए इसको आप समझ के जाइएगा इस बार आपको क्वेश्चन यहाँ से मिलना चाहिए या लाइजोजोम्स या सेल थ्योरी ऐसा मेरे को फील आ सेल डिवीजन में मीओसिस को ये लोग बहुत बार टारगेट कर चुके हैं इसकी हो चुका है सेचुरेशन मीओसिस में हम लोग मीओसिस वन में प्रोफेस फर्स्ट के इसकी जो सब स्टेजेज हैं हमारी प्रोफेस फर्स्ट की लेप्टोटिन जाइोटिन पैकेटिन डिप्लोटिन वो सबको अच्छे से पिछले दो तीन साल से पूछ रहे हैं तो इस बार ये माइटोसिस की मेटाफेस से क्वेश्चन आ सकता है या साइटोफाइनेस से ये मेरा प्रिडिक्शन है आप लोग के लिए पढ़ना आपने सब कुछ है छोड़ना कुछ नहीं है छोड़ के जाएंगे तो पेपर से निकल के मुझे ढूंढेंगे कि कहाँ हैं सो सर बुलाओ भैया मुझे ना ढूंढो मेरी आपको एक राय है कि इस पे जरा ज़्यादा फोकस कर लीजिएगा पढ़ के रख दीप जाइएगा ठीक है जी तो ये आपका ख़त्म हुआ चैप्टर एट एंड चैप्टर टेन अगले लेक्चर में आपसे फिर मिलता हूँ किसी और चैप्टर के प्रीवियस ईयर के क्वेश्चन के साथ मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक के साथ पढ़ते रहिए डटे रहिए और अगर कुछ उन्नीस बीस हो जाए तो अगले साल मेरे से कोचिंग लीजिएगा मिलते हैं ब्रेक के बाद स्टिल डेन गुड लक गुड बाय है नाइस डे थैंक यू